just over 6 million samples of blood get transported between various healthcare delivery centers and the labs. That is per year. So it's a large volume. South Africa has got just over a third of uh, its total population probably residing in, uh, in rural settings. So NHLS mandate is to provide a pathology diagnostic service to those rural areas, um, in addition to obviously the bulk of the, um, the service that is provided in the urban areas. Most facilities are either primary health care or secondary care facilities which do not have the infrastructure or the expertise to do the analysis on site. This is Block TT Clinic in Sushanguve. This is a primary health care clinic. It's about plus minus 6,500 to 7,000 patients per month. Most of them are suffering from anemia, but we don't have any laboratory. We take blood in the morning. After 11 o'clock, we stop taking bloods because the courier leaves. And then those that are late, they have to come back again the next day. There is a lot of wait for their blood. So now is the second time. We have to diagnose the patients correctly with those blood tests so that we can give proper treatment and refer appropriately when necessary. The machine sits in a lab. The patients have to have their samples to the lab. Healthcare centers, they need to make sure that the material is preserved, that it is appropriately transported to where the analysis can be done. In any um, lab operation, you know, 10 to 20 percent of the operational costs uh, are allocated to the cost of bringing the sample to the lab. And that takes a lot of resources. You need expertise to package the sample and you need um, methods of transferring the result back. And sometimes it is actually by road uh, back to, to the referring centre. The provision of a diagnosis never ends with a clinical suspicion. It needs to be confirmed. So the pathology lab is a very important component of healthcare in the sense that it will not only confirm the diagnosis, but it will also be able to allow the doctor to monitor the treatment that they are giving to the patient. Is that laboratory? Thank you. I'm Sister Musidi Mudingwani. I'm phoning from Blokutiti Clinic. The biggest problem is that sometimes the blood test results comes back late and then we cannot diagnose the patient early. Sometimes they get lost on the way, they are delivered to a wrong clinic and uh, sometimes our patients die before knowing what is going on with them. To complete the loop whereby the patient gives a sample and they get a result, uh, might take um, you know, a, a long time. Uh, so, so there is an absolute need for, for that process to be shortened, uh, taking advantage of, of current technology. Cellnostics is a mobile, connected, point-of-care device that can do a full blood count um, in almost real time and right there where the patient is and where the blood is taken. It's only a prick and only a drop of blood that's, that's needed and you get the same quantitative results as a full blood count that's done in a laboratory with a big machine. Anyone should have a full blood count. It should be like taking your temperature or measuring your blood pressure. It should be part of the initial examination. You can't guess someone's hemoglobin. It just needs to be measured. And, 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 and a full blood count will offer that opportunity. You've got a limited pool of expertise. What the Cellnostic technology has the potential to do is to make that pool of expertise accessible to a bigger audience 
to a bigger uh, healthcare platform um, without necessarily them moving from where they are. Uh, and that's, that's, that's probably very powerful. So we, we're making better use of the existing um, uh, expertise. The full microscopic image of the blood will be transmitted to the, um, to the pathology lab where the expert is located so that whatever additional information is needed in terms of looking at the blood cells under and, and the different structures in the blood can now also be done with, on, on this image without having the real blood sample um, present in, in the laboratory where the expert is. How do you make a, a diagnosis of a low hemoglobin in a rural lab? And Cellnostics is actually going to make that possible. I see it as the solution.